Hi, I'm Tracy Manette of Clever Monkey Graphics, and today I'm going to show you a little command called load files into stack, which if you haven't found this, it's going to revolutionize how you might create your digital scrapbooking pages and other items. So, I'm going to go over and I've got this little document open, a scrapbook page, and I want to put a name for her under here. So I want to put the name Taylor. Normally I'd have to open each letter of the alphabet because I'm going to use an alpha created by myself. And I would have to open each one and then drag it in, add its style that I want, which will be a shadow. And that takes a while, especially if you have, want to put in any sentences or anything like that. So I learned a really quick way to do this, and I'm going to show you. So go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. And you're going to click the Browse button and you're going to find what you want to add. So let me see if I have my uh, an alpha in here. I know there was one somewhere with this kit. Not right there. Let's move up. Um, there it is. Okay, I have an alpha, but I want to see it a little better, so I'm just going to click up here, and let's see if medium icons shows me enough. Yeah, that gets better, especially if I open my window. So let me click some letters for a name, T. A Y L O R. There we go. Then just click OK. Now they all turn up right here. If I wanted to add more things, I could. All I would do would be to click the browse button and it would go back in and I could hunt anywhere on my computer to find more items to add to this list. Once you have everything you want in this list, just click OK. And you see things are starting to happen here. Things are starting to happen up here. What's happening is Photoshop is opening up each of these letter files or alpha files and place them all on one document. Now what I often do before I move them over is I place the letters in the order I want to use them. So I know I probably want to spell her name out like this. And then I might select all my letters and go to the styles palette and I have a shadow style so I just applied it to them all at once and in this document here I want them to turn up above this layer so I've clicked here not that we couldn't drag later but it's quicker if you click on the layer that you want under what you're dragging so let's go over to our letters I've got the move tool selected and I'm gonna hold and drag this one comes up and I can put them over here and then I'll just set them up T and A Y and we'll move the R over a little bit because we need some room put the O in there Maybe move that R just up a little bit and there, well not quite right but you've got the idea you can see what you can do here other reasons you might want to use load files into stack let's see you're doing a layout and you wanted to bring a whole bunch of elements from this kit onto your page you can do that using the load files into stack or if you're a designer and you want to create a preview you can open up all your elements and papers very quickly this way and have them all in one place. And it will save you lots and lots of time in trying to create your preview. And that is about it. That tells you how to use load files into stack.